evil lover. You love wickedness and you hate righteousness. You love yourself and you hate God's word. You guys are lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Hell is real, and you will experience it one day. God says, oh, you see, you'll laugh and you'll mock today, but on the day of judgment, you'll weep and wail. You'll gnash your teeth. You will wish you could go back and change your mind. On that day, you will thank me for telling you the truth. You will thank Patrick for telling you the truth before God casts you into the lake of fire. Your soul is going to be brought before a living God. God's going to resurrect your body, put your soul back into it, and give you a body that will live forever. And then God is going to torment you forever because you would not turn at his rebuke. You would not hear his voice when he says, turn and I will heal. Oh, I tell you that God has raised up this generation to destroy it. A generation of young people who are rebellious, who are haters of God, haters of Christ, haters of the Word of God, and He's going to destroy the world by fire, and everything will be burned up, just like He destroyed the world by water, and all the dinosaurs were destroyed, young lady. Wrath of God abides upon you. Turn from your wicked ways before it's too late. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will perish. God commands that all men everywhere repent and obey the gospel of His Son. It's not a, a request, sir. God commands it. I know you think because judgment is not executed speedily, you think judgment's not coming. God says because judgment is not executed speedily, the heart of man is fully set to do evil. And you are evil. You need to rend your hearts before God. Obey God. Uh, God doesn't believe in you either. God says the fool has said in his heart there is no God. And they have done wicked and abominable things. There is none who does what is good. All right, God's going to cause all creation to testify against you on the day of judgment. The heavens and the earth cry out that there is a God. No, I'm not going to shut the hell up. I'm going to tell you to get that way out of the broad way that leads to hell and turn to Jesus Christ before it's too late. Because Jesus Christ created hell for people like you who rebelled against Him. You would not have 